Welcome to Sound Effects. This is Karen Bryant with you. And oh, yes, ladies, I am in bed with members of Type O Negative right here in the FX department. Josh, how are you doing tonight? I'm living. All right. And also, Pete, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm, I'm actually very well. Let me tell you, they are minty fresh. Um, first up, I want to just get into this. I don't, you know, we've played a little snip of the music there. I would rather not describe you. I'd rather have you guys tell us in the world. You know, what do you presume to, to be playing? Are you gothic? Are you Sabbath-like? Are you... Well, since we're forced to uh, categorize ourselves, which we normally hate to do, we like to call it gothadelic. Gothadelic. I agree. Yeah, because I found it very, very good, whatever whatever it was. And what I found interesting about it was, um, well, f first I should say the new album is called Bloody Kisses. Very, very cool. Um, what I found interesting about it was that it was... It was beyond categorization, you know, it started off, one song would be gothic and then you'd have a bridge in it that was, you know, thrash or something. Yes. How did you guys come around to getting your, uh, that sound developed? I'm the primary songwriter and they're like a lot of different types of music and as an artist would not use just one color to paint a painting. I don't like to just use one type of music to write songs. That makes very good sense, Josh. We just couldn't make up our minds. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, you are, um, you have undergone a certain amount of change from the last typo negative record. An interesting <clears throat> thing that you said is um, if somebody picks up this album right now and then they go back in your catalog, they may be surprised. What, what are they going to find? That the band has changed a lot over the past three years. We uh, were primarily a hardcore band, mm -hmm. but uh, as we are products of the environment and our environments right. have changed, so has our music. And have you felt like, uh, what are your favorite records that you've been listening to? Have those had an influence on why you've changed or current trends? Or do you do you like to just sort of create your music in your own world and not feel inspired or, or you know bothered by what's going on in other bands? In fact, I like very much not to know what's happening because I don't want to even be subconsciously influenced whatsoever no? so when we're in the studio. When's the last time you guys have been to the record store then? Not too recently. <laughs> really? 1965. Well. But you do have some musical influences. I don't think I'm going out on too far a limb to say Sabbath or... Uh, well, uh, basically, when I'm in the U.S., it's a 60-cycle home. But when I'm in Europe, it's a 50-cycle home. Wow. I've got really bad tinnitus, by the way, so I hear that hum, too. Okay. I'm you know, sure everybody but, does. But, so now, I'm, I'm in bed with you guys, and, and I'm actually very cozy. You must have some records you put on to get your lady in the mood, because I know... You try to get ladies in the mood because you're often singing about what happened after the ladies dumped you or you dumped them. So what, what kind of music would you put on to romance somebody? Well, I like bands like Curve mm -hmm. and Zymox, Dead Can Dance, My Bloody Valentine, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I just got the new Dead Can Dance record. That's great. Yeah? It really is. Josh? I love it. I'm not really a music fan. No? No. What do you do to... Get in the mood, though. You must do something. I got you in bed without music. <laughs> yes, I? you did, actually. That was pretty incredible. Um, what I found listening to you, even if you say you don't listen to contemporaries, I found, Pete, in your voice, a very hypnotic quality that I find in, say, Mark Lanigan of Screaming Trees. Do you listen to them at all? Have you heard them? Are you familiar? I've heard them. I like them. But, however, I do not listen to them. No? No. I just found that if people liked um, Screaming Trees, they might want to check your record out because I think it would, it would go well. Also, you know, Sisters of Mercy and... Well, I think in, in general that the public is sick of male vocalists sounding like little girls having their feet tickled. Mm -hmm. I know I am, although I am ticklish, but... Uh... Well, you know, I have a set of testicles and I like to use them, yeah. you know, especially when it comes to affecting my vocal cords mm -hmm. and making them thick and long and full of mucus like they should be. Josh? I have nothing to say. Okay. Well, one thing I did want to get into, and, and I, since you're here in bed with me, folks, they've been very nice. They've been very, I was just about to say, they haven't done anything sexist at all. But the thing is, is, is you, 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 you've, you know, gotten a little bit of slack for being, you know, uh, people saying that you don't <laughs> look at the enforcers are here. What you doing with the girl, man? <laughs> I want the hands above the covers. You've gotten Keep a, talking, man. You've gotten a, little bit, a little bit of slack in the past for being, you know, uh, feminist. And I'd like for you to be able to clear up, you know, lyrically, you do talk about going through rough relationships. I mean, what do you, how do you explain this? Well, in the past, I've written songs about women. Uh, however, it was primarily about one woman. Unfortunately, I assumed that the general public 
could differentiate between singular and plural. However, mm -hmm. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. The songs I write were about one person, and so I've been, you know, branded this and, and that, which is fine with me because it sells albums. And uh, and do you you don't you even said in one article you don't want to be a rock star though you just want to make your money so you can go away and leave mankind alone is that is that that is correct I am a species. All right, well you know guys uh, I I was more than happy to have you here I really wish you wouldn't go Thank away you. I find you more than engaging. Well we don't have to go away. Okay maybe we can just stay. The album is called Bloody Kisses I highly recommend it it's great. Uh, after you've had just a long crappy day after you've had a wonderful day check it out it's typo negative from Brooklyn. Right here with us on Sound Effects. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Pete. We'll see you later. <laughs>